Uh, this is Sam from Action Figure Fury. I apologise, I haven't done a video for a while. I'm just taking a hiatus from YouTube at the moment because of um, Toy Fairs coming up and I've got some other important articles coming from the site. So this will be my last video for a couple of weeks then I'll be back on YouTube once Toy Fairs died down and stuff and I'll be more regular video content on this channel. Anyway, I thought I'd show you a whole video of the stuff I've picked up recently uh, from America. Well, I made some trip, went to Arizona recently and I picked up a few things there. So we're going to show some of those off. Uh, firstly, as you may know, I've collected some of the uh, Star Wars Vintage Collection. I only managed to find one uh, in my trip. Uh, this is the Walmart exclusive Yavin Luke Skywalker. As you know, I've got a 6 inch version of this as well, or two versions of the 6 inch version. Um, so, this is the 3 and 3 core inch. I do keep these on card. Looks really, really nice. Really hack with that. We also managed to pick up when I was there. Um, I haven't got them here. I've also got the Doctor Doom and the. Thing figures from you know, the Fantastic Four wave. Also managed to find while I was out there, Doctor Reed Richards, him, Reed, Reed Richards himself. So very happy with that. Looks really really good. Definitely going to get this whole wave of the Fantastic Four figures. Also recently when I was out there, I managed to pick up as a big fan of Marvel Select. I have been missing Psylocke, I didn't get Psylocke yet, so I'm very happy to have her. I've also got the 6 inch Marvel Legends version, but I really wanted the uh, Marvel Snake version as well, so I'm very happy with that. You can see you've got a lot of accessories there hands, heads, base, so I'm very happy with that. Um, also, got when I was over there, I managed to find Pinhead. I even wanted to get Pinhead for a while, I didn't expect to find him so soon when I was out there, but. This figure looks fantastic. I'm not a big fan of Hellraiser, but I can't deny Pinhead is an iconic uh, horror villain. And most to say, this figure looks absolutely fantastic. So, this is definitely a must-have for me. So, very, very happy with that. Probably do a review of this a couple of times. I haven't got time. Um, also managed to pick up when I was over there. Um, I haven't seen it yet. Unfortunately, but I have... Um, I didn't want to get these, um, the Terminator Dark Fate figures, they're the only two ne uh, Terminator, Terminator Dark Fate figures that NECA are doing, obviously due to um, the film not doing too well, I haven't seen it yet, and obviously lack of interest, so unfortunately due to the poor performance of the film, we're only getting, we're only getting Sarah Connor and T-800, but I have to say, these both look absolutely fantastic, so I'll probably review them like I did with Michael and uh, Laurie, probably be doing a review of the, both of these together, down the line, so very happy with those. Also managed to pick up over there. I'm slowly getting back into fun toys, and um, I did like the look of their Mortal Kombat figure. But a bit hard to get here in the UK, but I was so lucky to get my hands on uh, Scorpion. Looks really, really nice. Boxes beat up. Yeah, I don't know where I found it. Also, no, yeah, Scorpion. I also found the Ice Clone Sub Zero, which was a GameStop exclusive. So very, very happy with that. No. Didn't come across the normal version of uh, Sub Zero, but I'd like to get those. And I'm definitely getting in Series Two as well, and Series Three looks or when they're actually going to Toy Fair. Looking forward to those. These look fantastic looking figures. Let's see how big they big they are and you know, what they come with. Very happy with those. Review we'll both of those down the line. And uh, last but not least, I managed to pick up three of the uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. As you know. Uh, um, well, I grew up in the, in the 90s, I obviously grew up with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and um, I picked up the White Ranger while last year, one of my favourite figs I picked up, really, really happy with it, and I was keen to get more, and well, the other ones from the wave have never, you know, bought them, and they didn't find them at expos or retail, but uh, this time I did luck out, so I've managed to find Pink Ranger, very happy with that, like this is, looks really, really good, nice accessories there, really happy with that one. I uh, found also found Red Ranger, which is which, which was a surprise. I didn't expect to find this one, but really happy with it. Doesn't really really good. Really happy with that one. And I wanted to find the Wolverine's exclusive. I believe this is a Wolverine's exclusive. Um, the Black Ranger, well, Shield version of Black Ranger, which I'm really really happy with. Well, these do look really really good. I'm only missing Goldar, and which is he's a game which you can get. And I'm missing the Green Ranger with the Putty Soldier, which is a bit hard to get at the moment. And also. Yellow Rangers in Series 4, so I'm definitely building up all the Mighty Morphin figures because they do look great, and these figures do look absolutely fantastic. The last little thing I got, 
when I was over there. Lots of necker stands. You can never have enough figure stands, so they always come in handy. So, got those as well. Anyway, guys, I'll wrap it up for this video, uh, for this little toy hunt video. You can expect some more YouTube video videos in, the next, in a few weeks' time. We'll be coming back on here. Anyway, guys, please keep checking out the site. Plenty more content to come. Well, from some articles and some news from Toy Fair. Anyway, guys, guys, please like, share, and subscribe, and bye for now.